Hi folks, welcome back to point part two. We just finished doing the attack from the TPP uh, with the two carbons attached to it from the alpha carbon, the old uh, the uh, carb carbanion here. We're going to attack here and protonate to make an OH, and we're going to add this whole two carbons onto this five carbons. That's going to give us a seven carbon uh, compound called cetoheptulose. Seven phosphate. It's going to get a seven carbon sugar out of this. Um, and remember, I I mentioned that anytime a TPP attacks, it's always going to attack essentially from below this molecule, causing this guy to switch sides. It's going to become an inverted stereocenter, or become an S an S stereocenter. It's already it's prochiral right at this point, so it needs to become left-handed. And they'll see that both in this reaction and in the next uh, in the other transketolase reaction in pentose phosphate. So we're going to make S7P here. Our new compound you can see has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons in it, but the TPP is still attached. So how are we going to get that off? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, we can just pull this thing off. Now, remember that this thing is only used for illid stuff. This stuff is used for bond breaking and making. This un is only used for attaching TPP or, de dis or detaching it. So that's what we're going to use here. We're going to use the nitrogen here to pull the hydrogen. It's going to go like this, and we're going to jump our pair right back to make the illid back, and we're going to have our final S7P, SU7P, cetoheptulose 7-phosphate. So here we go, we have a protonated amino group on TPP, we have our illid, again, the nitro negative is there, but I'll draw it nice and more nicely. Uh, are we done here? Uh, I don't think we are. Uh, the last thing we need to do is recharge it to the start state that the enzyme started in, which is with a protonated form of the TPP illid. And so our S7P can be released, it's going to go on to the next step, which is transaldolase. Uh, but we need to recharge this enzyme so another round can happen. We'll need it in the second step. So we're going to protonate from our good old glutamic acid, who is uh, only job really is to make or undo this illid. And that'll be the end of this reaction. I'll show you the final products, and here they are. So we have our reprotonated TPP. We're out back in our deprotonated uh, glutamic acid, and we have our histidine back in its original state, and SU7P is done. It can just float away. Thanks for watching, guys.